I'm gonna tell you how to get views on your YouTube videos even if you don't have subscribers and we're starting right now. What is going on? My name is Nick, welcome to another video. If this is your first time here and you wanna learn how to grow your channel, make videos and all types of other YouTube related stuff, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. Okay, so I know that getting views on YouTube is hard. It doesn't matter what type of content that you're making, getting that initial thing started where you're getting views coming in, it can be a difficult process. And if you don't know what you're doing, then it's obviously gonna be a lot harder. So I'm going to take you through the process of some things that you can do to get some views on your videos to kind of get that initial start going for you. Now, if you're somebody that's been on YouTube for a while and you know how to get views as well, if you have anything that you wanna to add to this list, make sure that you leave it down in the comments below to help people that are starting out because you know how hard it is too. The very first thing that you wanna think about when you are trying to get views on your YouTube videos is you wanna remember that YouTube is a search engine. And what that means is YouTube is somewhere to where on Google and YouTube, to where if somebody actually starts looking for something, then your video can come up as a solution for what it is that they're looking for. For example, if you go to YouTube search and you put in how to tie a tie, then videos on how to tie a tie are going to come up. And that's something that you can tap into even as a brand new content creator that's putting up their very first video. Now, when I tell people that, I have a lot of people that will say, hey, Nick, well, I have a vlog, I can't do that. Well, I actually made a video with Benji Travis who has a very large vlog, and I'll put a link to that right up here, but he actually talks about how you can actually jumpstart a vlog by using the search discovery system on YouTube. But at the end of the day, what it is that you want to go for is basically you want to look for things that people are searching for and you want to think of how can you make a video that applies to that or if you've already made your video you want to think about how can you apply that to your video so that when people are looking for things they can find your video now one of the ways that you do this is you basically just take that phrase that people are looking for for example the how to tie a tie that we referenced a minute ago you would take that phrase and you would actually make that phrase a part of of your title or the entire title itself. Now, the reason that I say a part of the title is because if you are making that video on how to tie a tie, how to tie a tie is gonna be really competitive. But if you can add some things to how to tie a tie, then it can make it less competitive in some cases. In that example, it would be how to tie a certain kind of tie, you know, how to tie a bow tie, for example. Or you could use something like how to tie a tie in 10 seconds as another example. And with that, when you add the in 10 seconds on there, what you're doing is you're making it something that somebody would also be interested in clicking on because not only are you showing them how to tie a tie, but you're showing them how to tie a tie very quickly. But just to put this out there, the how to tie a tie thing is pretty competitive. So you might not want to go for that one just yet if you don't have any views on your channel, but that's just an example that I'm trying to give you in terms of how all of this stuff works. So to make this even more powerful, you would take that phrase that you put in your title, how to tie a tie in 10 seconds, for example, and you would put that in your description as well. And you would do it in natural language. And what I mean by natural language is this, you could definitely put how to tie a tie, but if you put, learn how to tie a tie in under 10 seconds so that you can get ready faster and make sure that you look your best wherever it is that you go, then you're actually building an entire sentence or you do that multiple times to create a paragraph around that specific term that you're trying to get discovered for. Now, if you're just starting out on YouTube, I know that this might sound a little bit complicated, but this is just one of the ways that you can get more views. We're gonna get into some more here, some easier ways here in just a little bit, but I just wanted to express with you the importance of learning how to rank your videos in search because when you can learn how to do that, you can create videos that are continuously going to drive you traffic over long periods of time. The next thing you can do to get views with no subscribers is you can share your content on social media. Now you might be saying, hey Nick, I don't have a social media following. How in the world am I supposed to share my stuff on social media? You don't need a social media following, but what you do need is to join relevant groups, be it on Reddit, on Facebook, or on other places on the internet to where you can actually be a part of the communities that are interested in the particular things that you make videos about. For example, if you're making videos about travel, there's a really good chance that you are also interested in travel. And because of that, you're probably already a part of communities online that are talking about travel. Facebook groups, subreddits, anything like that is a fantastic place to share your videos because you're already known in those communities. Now, if you're not known in those communities and you're just a lurker, then now is the time to start actually getting into those communities and making posts and asking questions and helping other people when they have questions so that you can look for opportunities to post your videos in the future. And here's something really cool that happens. When you join these communities online and you start posting and interacting on a regular basis, then the other people in that community are gonna to get to know you. So not only do you become an active member of that community, but you become somebody that actually makes videos 
on the stuff that that community is interested in so that you become a resource for the type of content that they are also interested in. Does that make sense? Let me know in the comments. Yes, that makes sense or no, you lost me just so that I can keep that in mind for when I'm making future videos. Now, when it comes to sharing your content in these groups, one thing that you don't wanna do is you don't wanna go in there and spam your content all over the place. You don't wanna always just be posting your videos, hopping into the group saying, hey, check out my video and then leaving. What you wanna do again is you wanna be an active participant of that group. And then when you do leave your video, you wanna kind of tease your video a little bit instead of saying, hey, here's my video. You wanna say, hey, I just made a great video um, about this particular experience that I had in this particular area of the world. And I think that you would really enjoy it. So go and check it out. I mean, think of this from your perspective, right? If you are in one of those groups and you just see some video, hey, check out my video, then are you gonna go and check out that video? Most likely not. But if it's somebody and they're kind of building it up a little bit, somebody that you know in the group and they're like, hey, you know, I just had this experience, then you're more likely to go check out that video because one, you recognize the person, two, they've actually told you a little bit about what the video is about instead of just dropping a link and getting out of there. The next thing that you can do to get views and to get attention to your channel when you are just starting out is you can comment on YouTube a lot. Now wait, I'm not telling you to go and do the sub for sub stuff because that doesn't work. What I'm saying is to actually leave real comments, you know, watch videos, give your real opinions on things, share your thoughts, your ideas with stuff. And if you do that and you're doing it a lot, people are gonna see your username next to your uh, profile picture there. They're gonna click on it and they're gonna say, hey, that was a that was an insightful thought or whatever, or that was an interesting way that they thought about that. Or hey, let me just see what this person's channel's about. And they're gonna click on it and that's gonna bring people to your channel. Now. Again, Again, I cannot stress the importance of doing this in a pure way, because if you're in there and you're trying to make any suggestion whatsoever to come to your channel and check out what it is that you're doing, it's sleazy and people are not gonna respond to it. People are gonna look at you like you are sleazy and you're trying to siphon traffic. The creator is going to delete your comments. The people that see your comment, they're gonna look at you like you're a sleazeball. And you don't wanna be a sleazeball, do you? Of course not. What I'm getting at is this, just be a normal human being. Just go and interact like a normal person. YouTube is a social platform, so be social. Leave a lot of comments all over YouTube, actual comments about the video, about what it is that you think, comment on other people's comments. And when you do that, then more people are gonna come and look at your channel directly from your comments. And again, don't be sleazy about it, be cool. If you're cool, people are gonna respond to you in a cool way. If you're sleazy, then people are gonna be turned off by it. So be cool, people will be cool, you'll get views and it'll help you grow your channel. The next thing is to join communities right here on YouTube that are also making content like you are making. If somebody in your niche is live streaming, be a part of that live stream. Be somebody that is also supporting them and what it is that they're doing. That can do a bunch of things for you. That can win you collaborations. That will win you attention from the people that are participating on their channel as well. People that are already interested in the type of content that you make that just has not discovered you yet. And just like the commenting thing, you want to do this with some type of respect for yourself and some type of respect for the people that you're interacting in their community. So you don't wanna go in there and be like, oh, hey, I just made a video about this particular or thing, come and check it out. You wanna go in there and you just wanna be active in the community and then people will click on your name, they'll get to know you and then they'll come over and check out what it is that you're doing. Maybe they'll also become a part of your community. Another thing that you can do to get views, even if you don't have subscribers on your channel is you can look for blogs and websites in the niche that you operate in or the type of content that you make. So if there are blogs that are also talking about the things that you make videos about, then it's a good idea to actually reach out to those blogs or those websites and say, hey, I'm actually making videos about this. So if you want to include me in some of your posts, then I can also put links to your blog in my YouTube channel. So you work out a deal like that, or you just add value to them by making a guest post on their blog if they allow guest posts. Now, that last one right there, most of the people that are gonna watch this video are not gonna put in the work to do that because it's a lot of extra work. So doing little things like that that most people are not willing to do can really make a big difference on your YouTube channel. It can make a big difference on the views you're getting, the subscribers that you're pulling in, and it can make a difference on how fast everything grows. So another thing you can do to get more views on your videos without having any subscribers is put in that extra work. Do it now while you're just getting started here on your YouTube channel because as everything gets bigger, as everything grows, you're gonna get more and more busy. You're gonna get more and more caught up. You're gonna have more and more opportunities coming your way that you're gonna wanna capitalize on. And because of that, it's really important to go ahead and lay a lot of this groundwork right now while you're just getting started so that when you get to that point in the future, you're not looking back and saying, oh man, I wish I would have done that because I just missed out on like a whole opportunity and a whole bunch of connections that I could have made because you didn't do that. 
And look, if you're audacious enough to go through the process of doing that, you're gonna get a lot of people that are gonna be like, hey, no, sorry, we're not taking submissions, or hey, no, we're not gonna include your video, but if you just keep going and you keep sending out more invitations to people, and you do it in a professional way, you don't wanna just be like, hey, support me on YouTube, support my channel, let me make a thing, add value to them first. And if you do that and you approach the whole thing in a professional way, you'll be surprised at the difference it can make on your YouTube channel and the amount of views that you're getting. Now, if you're just starting out on YouTube, there's a lot of this stuff that you might not know about yet. So I'm gonna put a link right up here to a playlist of videos that I recommend that you watch. It's all stuff for people that are just starting out on YouTube. So go ahead and click into that playlist and watch the videos that are in that playlist because they're gonna help you get a handle on how all of this stuff works. And if you wanna learn more about growing your channel, making videos and all types of other YouTube related stuff, start now by hitting the round subscribe icon so you don't miss anything. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.